Okay. So, a lot to look at. First off, was trying to make a trade with the Seahawks. Seeing if the commissioner will let us cut a break because I had sent this trade through. He said he accepted it. Didn't go through for some reason and we reached the trade deadline. So, we're seeing if commissioner will let us push it through. But the trade was, I'm sending Nolan Smith pass rusher 22 years old and andre james 26 year old center who's our backup for free safety jalen petrie um a third round pick and a fourth so essentially nolan smith is 93 speed pass rusher um and jalen petrie i just feel like in the last game we lost to the kid because the safeties were just not playing well enough and i want another really good safety um, in place of Epps to move Epps to a depth position when we're playing maybe dime formation. Another thing I'm considering is moving, if that doesn't go through, moving Nolan Smith to middle linebacker. Now, he's not a good coverage guy by any means, but if he was our user, he's 93 speed. So, Jack Campbell's 84 speed, and don't get me wrong, Jack Campbell's played pretty well for us, but to play, to have a plus 9 speed could pay dividends. Now, Nolan Smith only has 50 zone coverage, so we would have to make sure that we were using him every single time, which would be tough. But let me know what you guys think. Um, we're going to do our prep. Maybe we'll make that change before and, and give it a try. It would be probably a good game to try it out just because this kid is a pretty formidable passer. So we're going to start out with our upgrades, and then we'll go to a game plan elite QB. We also have a tandem breakout on offense. Um, you'll see week eight against the Jets. Yes, we did not make an episode because um me and this kid were talking i had already prepped the week with a video half the video was ready i just needed to do the gameplay we were gonna play we were gonna play we were gonna play um and then we just didn't end up playing he actually like left the league for a second and then came back in like wasn't gonna quit and so like we just ended up playing i got the force win um annoying but that's what happened so that's why you see the win there but we are seven and one so Let's do some upgrades. We'll take a look at the team and then go from there. So Isaiah Pacheco, Rondell Moore, Jordan Davis, and Felix Inudike Uzama all get upgrades. Isaiah Pacheco has been balling out for us this year. And Rondell Moore has really been showing out as well. So make him a better elusive back, man. We'll love to see him get a development. Plus one speed. Come on. Come on, baby. 94 speed now for Isaiah Pacheco. What an upgrade, baby. Oh, man. Rondale Moore also getting an upgrade now. He's going up to a nat 84. And is X-Factor. Some abilities that I really want are in the deep threat, the playmaker. Like, let's go look at abilities and see, like, what is 85 or 80? 80, 80 deep threat gets him deep in elite. slot at 85 overall slot. 85 overall playmaker gets him wide receiver apprentice, but we already have hot route master. So it's not valuable to us um, 85 overall playmaker also gets him grab and go um, Which is really good kind of matches his game perfectly 85 overall slot gets him jukebox um, 85 overall in general gets him a couple things Huh? Route Tech at 90 overall playmaker. I think that's probably... I think we'll just continue to build him up as a playmaker for now. Try and give him up to 85 overall and get him an extra ability slot. Huge upgrades to route running. Plus 3 short, plus 2 medium, plus 1 catch of traffic catching, and plus 2 spec catch. Pretty significant upgrades. And he looks really good, man. 86 short, 84 medium, and 79 deep. He's going to be balling. His abilities are not good. I want short and elite. Do we never edit his abilities? Maybe not. Let's go recuperation. Now, Jordan Davis gets an upgrade. He's been a crazy freak in run stopping. I think we just want that to continue to be better, man. Just continue to build him as a run stopper. Shut down the middle. We have pass rushers on the outside. Plus one block shed. Plus one hit power. A couple of other upgrades. Felix Anadike Uzama. Gets an upgrade as well. He goes up to an 875 with morale boost. Still hitting development. Plus two finesse move. Plus one hit power. Does have 78 finesse move now. 81 speed. Very slow. And then Colby Parkinson gets an upgrade as well. So a bunch of big time upgrades. 
team continues to develop well and we're going to have to game plan for an elite QB here in week nine. That was for last week, actually, when we got force wind. So we got 2,500 XP for doing nothing. <laughs> Didn't even have to play. I will take it, bro. Now let's look at our tandem breakout on offense. You don't get development traits up upgrades for this. Um, you just get XP um, and stuff. So challenge wide receiver Jahan Dotson. Um, that's going to be good for him. He should get point like stat upgrades. So follow the leader. Rondo Moore has earned 2,500 XP for inspiring a teammate. John Dotson, get him 150 total yards against or 150 plus receiving yards against the Raiders. And also touchdown bonus touchdowns with him will give him bonus XP as well or, or bonus stat boost. Let's look at his team to start. CJ Stroud, 1,600 yards. 68% completion percentage, 15 touchdowns to nine picks. Keep in mind, those picks could be in simulation. We'll check out his schedule and the teams he's played too after this. Rushing the football, Aaron Jones averaging six and a half yards a carry, nine touchdowns. So definitely likes to run as well. CJ Stroud does have three rushing touchdowns and 28 attempts as well. Um, and then receiving... Jamison Williams speed demon is his best guy. He doesn't have abilities on him, but he is 98 speed. So we're going to really have to keep in mind that then outside of him, Chig Okonkwo, um, Robbie chosen Rashi rice. He's got some speed between Jamison Williams, Robbie chosen. And then I don't think rice is that fast, but he's more of a physical receiver. Yeah, 88 speed. Kayvon Thibodeau and TJ Watt are rushing the passer. TJ Watt, really, really good. Um, Kenny Clark in the middle along with Jalen Carter. Okay, so he built his front four to be very formidable. Now, not a ton of sacks, but a pretty good amount. And then JT Woods is, I think, like tied with Kyer Elam in second place in the league total. Four interceptions. This is definitely his user. So... We have to be aware of him. 93 speed. Just have to keep an eye on his user. And then Delpit, Stokes, um, Turner, Dane Cruikshank also has four picks. That makes me think he might be. And then Theo Jackson has four picks. So all his safeties have a ton of picks. He has a ton of picks in general. So now weekly game plan goal is going to be get one interception, man. I just want to pick this kid off at least one time. We're going to do 24 less points. I don't think he's scored less than that all season. Hopefully we can put it together, but we have had trouble on defense as of late. Um, three, 350, we'll do 300 plus offensive yards and then win the turnover battle, man. I'm not trying to force picks and turn the football over. We had trouble doing that in the commanders game. Let's not do it here. Let's go upgrades here. Ooh, and ton of upgrades to our secondary. And Greg Newsom gets a ton of good abilities. Flat zone KO, deep out zone KO, pick artist. Going to upgrade him to 85 slot. Maybe that gets him a better ability. Now up to 87 nat. Plus three man. Okay, so he's got 87 man now. So he could actually play some man coverage, dude. Does get one step ahead at 90 overall, man. He's a far away from that. 90 overall in general gets him acrobat. So he's three upgrades away from that. I'm pretty happy with the abilities we have. I think these are good for him. Kyer Elam, we always play zone. Let's just make him better in zone, man. Plus one zone, plus one change of direction, agility, plus two tackle. 89 zone, not much of a man corner at all. Jartavius Martin, need him better in zone. He's been pretty great. Plus two zone, plus one change of direction, and tackle up to 85 zone. He got a bunch of upgrades early in the year winning game of the years and stuff like that or game of the week uh jack campbell make him better in pass coverage hopefully get a speed upgrade no nolan smith that's the thing dude 93 speed 84 hit power 79 tackle 50 zone coverage dude so like if we bring him in the speed alone i'm gonna see if boosting he's up to 76 now Boosting his pass coverage helps at all. Plus three zone, 53 zone. 
I don't think we'll be able to develop him at all. But I am going to try and move him inside. It might be stupid. You might be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jack Campbell's pretty good. He's only 84 speed. Um, so I'm going to move him inside to middle linebacker. And go from there. Everyone else on our team is getting auto upgraded. So Nolan Smith is going to move inside. And we're going to give ourselves as much speed on the field as possible. Now his zone coverage is real bad. So he probably won't play anything. But he'll at least be in a position. And he does have pretty good block shed because he is a pass rusher. So 67 overall. Middle linebacker. We're going to move him up to linebacker 2. But then he's going to be sub linebacker 2. So it's going to be Ashton Davis, and it's going to be Nolan Smith. Let's get right into it, man. Game of the week, coming live to you. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on, man. I mean, this is a this kid is is real good. We've we've seen the record, man. We went through the scouting. He looks solid. We're coming off a force win, but a loss before that, man. So we got to bounce back. Let's just have a good game, man, and you know continue to develop our players, man. We've been working on the offense. Let's see what happens, man. Okay, let's see what he's giving me a little bit here. Gonna run this. Weak side. Juke, Pacheco. Backside tackle from Kenny Clark. Still pick up eight. Actually might have been able to swerve him there. Sit down. Perfect. Dotson does have a, have a tandem breakout game this week. So that gets him started a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. What am I doing, bro? I thought it was going to get over his head. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, man. We launch a pick immediately. We're playing like cheeks. I, you see, I wanted to kick it first. So that's exactly what I did. I just punted it straight to him. <laughs> oh, good God, bro. It's bad. That's a real bad start. Does get the first right at the line to gain. Oh, man. You got to be kidding me. Rip the ball out. Come on. That's that Pacheco animation. I can't control him. I'm trying to bring him up, and it was stuck in glue. Okay, we give up a touchdown immediately. Jesus. The worst start we could have expected. We'll fight, though. Let's go, Dotson. Come on, baby. Big time conversion. Come on, he gets hands on me, bro. We gotta, we gotta change direction and accelerate. Let's go. Third and inches from the football here, man. Stiff arm off. We're still going. Let's go. Come on, Pacheco. Win the stiff arm battle and keep moving. Let's go, baby. Oh, what a tackle. Good open field tackle. He clicked on, too. Dotson. Second and one. Touchdown! Come on, Ingram. Way to hang on. Let's go, baby. Dot. Let's go. And we're all tied up, man. Come on. You thought after that first drive we wasn't going to fight? You were crazy. Come on. Let's go. We got crazy fight on this squad, dude. Good good tackle. And in Jartavius, we don't need help, bro. We don't need help. We didn't need the help, man. Thanks for the assist. But you pushed him about five yards forward, dipshit. Good tackle. Oh. Go get him. Put the hands out. Oh. Good tackle. Yeah. Yeah, that's ah, that's bad coverage. We should have played man. We should have stuck with our man coverage, man. We had man coverage there. Didn't stick with it. Oh, 
Ashton Davis has plus two speed on him. How is he getting burned? How is he getting burned? Our defense has been playing like dog shit. Scored last drive, man. Let's let's keep it going. Let's get back in the end zone. We knew that this, I mean, we weren't going to shut him out. We gave him some fight. Forced him to a couple of third downs. But we got to keep that up, man. It's not going to get any easier from here. I'll tell you that much. Why? How come I get that like weird turnaround animation, but when he does it, it's like an instant turn? It, it hits somebody in the head. Okay, is it going to be one of those games? We're just going to get cheated every fucking play? You got to be kidding me, bro. There's Pacheco, fourth and one. Obviously, we're going for this. What? Wow. Went right over the linebacker's head. I thought he was going to sit down because usually they sit down halfway. It's an option drag. Wow, we get bailed out there. We get super bailed out. I thought we threw another pick. Rondell Moore down the sideline. Come on, baby. Drew it up perfectly. Let's go. All day. Give me that shit. 14-14, man. We score a bit quick. But I'm not I'm taking points against this kid anytime I can get him, man. That's my ball! Ashton Davis intercepts the football! Let's go! That's all me! You ain't getting that shit in here! Come on! Good catch, Nico Collins. We're able to fit it in there because it gets it comes out immediately. We want to score. We are playing a bit cautious, and I'm okay with that. Because I want this to be the last possession, dude. There's a minute left. This has to be the last possession. He gets ball at half. We can't allow him to be able to get points here. Can't. Oh, Kenny Clark gets through immediately. Okay, I think the cross will clear him out, and then Dotson comes wide open underneath. Ingram with an amazing 50-50 ball, dude. We, you, we clicked on and just got in front of him just enough. Ingram's wide open in the end zone. We can't get it to him because it's a screenplay. Ingram, he went out of bounds and came back in. What are you doing, you dub dipshit, bro? Oh my god, this guy's a fucking moron. Oh, we have to settle for three here. That could end up being huge in this game, but we're gonna be up at halftime. Okay, going to halftime. We're up 17-14. Close game, close battle here. We fight through. Let's go. Oh, he's open. Need Gary. Ah, uh, we need a pass rush. I got stuck on my D lineman. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I can't. I can't use her anything. I get stuck on Tyler Davison. Costs us everything on that play. Damn, bro. Oh, I'm, I got bounced. I mean, Jordan Davis has pretty much been non-existent in this game. It's a run. Crossed in the backfield. Let's go. Huge stop by Gary. Damn, good play. Does he have the best kicker in the league? Knocking out the back of the end zone every time, bro. Good. User shoot the gap, man. That was a good play. Ingram. Let's go, baby. Almost threw it straight to his user, man. <laughs> oh, man, that was really close. That's a little bit too close for comfort. We've threaded the needle a couple times on this drive, man. <laughs> Oh, man. We're cutting it real close. Let's 
Let's go. Throwing well. 15 for 20, 236, two touchdowns, one pick. Since the first pick, we've been pretty unbelievable. Oh, my God. The, the block sheds inside stuff has been pretty ridiculous on his end, man. Tanner's coming in, but we got to cook on the field first, baby. Come on. <laughs> Seems like he cannot cover the flood concepts pretty much at all. So, I like what we're doing here. Got Ingram. Touchdown! Laser, come on! Let's go! Let's go. We're back up by three. Come on. What fight and what a game, man. We're in the fourth. This is a game. Hell of a game. Oh, we had guys there. Brian Burns, he's able to cut up field. Nolan Smith was hunting him down there. Oh, you got, you got me. Got me. Let's go get him. What are we doing? Fumble. And a voice crack. Jesus, that was an insane play. This is definitely going to be a run. Are you kidding? Oh, we bagged him. Go get him. Come on. He's going for a field goal. Let's go, baby. Come on. He's got elite speed, bro. Like he, if he if we zero blitz him and we don't get home, he's uh he's he's taking that for a one play touchdown. It's our game to lose at this point. We are in the driver's seat, man. Get a couple yards. Oh, what with stick? Look at the stick, man. Come on. And we're actually going to go on conservative ball carry here because I'm not fumbling with Pacheco again like we did last week. It's not going to happen. 3.31 left, man. And we got to think that this probably, hopefully, will be the last possession of the game. Let's get around the edge. Maybe should have gone all the way around the edge. 10 rushes for 16 yards. He's had incredible run defense all game. Got to give him props, man. The run D has been great. Now, if we can suck his user pause over to the streak. Can get Collins with an elite catch. Diving grab by Nico Collins. And we're going to take this to the two-minute warning. We're right on the edge of field goal range, man. That was a massive play, bro. That was a massive play. And we are knocking on the door of winning this one. Just got to handle business. Play smart. Don't really love the run, man. I feel like we have to run outside if we're going to run. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. What's happening? What? What just happened? It just flipped. It just froze my click art, and then it gave me a penalty. Oh, my God, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Right in crunch time? You can't be doing that shit, bro. Come on. Dude, we get cheat. That's that's pass interference. He's running into my guy. Okay, this game is bonker as fuck right now. Dropped it and would have been in field goal range, man. It's got to be tight open. Dig Z spot. Now, he's going to be keying on this far side corner co flood concept, and that's why I think that the back side is going to probably be where we want to look to get this going. Got a post on the top. Dotson, first down, let's go! Are you kidding? I draw up money and put that in the bank, son. Come on. <laughs> Let's go, baby. He's going to have to burn all his timeouts. And we're going to make him. We got to get better blocking. How are we not picking up safeties? He's instant shedding every time. It's 
Third and inches. Couldn't get an extra inch. Would have been ball game right there, dude. What do we got for one play for the game here? Pacheco. Game. Ball game. Ball game. Let's go. GG's. Brandon Aubrey coming in. Perfect time kick. Good game, bro. GG's. We win game of the week, and we're back, baby. Let's go. What a game, bro. What a game, bro. Hell of a game, man. And we get the dub, man. GG's 27-24. Oh, man. That feels good as fuck. Oh, man. What a game, bro. We tore it up through the air. I told you I was labbing. I was labbing my new offense, and it was amazing. Amazing game. Amazing. W, 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 W. Let's go, baby. Come on. 27-24, we get the dub. Justin Herbert, 21 for 28. Uh, 329 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, man. Um, did throw the interception on the first drive, and we went down 7-0 immediately. And we fought back in a big way. Um, pretty much perfect football from there on out. And we just, I've been labbing up that offense all week. And didn't get to show it against the Jets. But we got to show it here. And we beat probably one of the best users in this entire league. So Stroud, 11 for 16, two TDs, one interception. Rushing Pacheco, 13 carries for 14 yards. Literally. Did nothing. Kid had amazing run defense. Aaron Jones, 8 for 35 and a touchdown. Stroud had 4 for 43, but did have a fumble. Didn't lose it, though. Went out of bounds. Receiving, Dotson led the way, 6 for 94. I didn't give a shit about his tandem breakout in game of the week. He'll get. I can give the points to him if I really want to. Um, Ingram was the star of the show. 4 for 73, 2 TDs. Pacheco, 4 for 46. Ronda Moore, 4 for 80 and a touchdown. Um, for him, Aaron Jones, 4 for 51 and a touchdown. Nico Collins had some huge grabs. Um, Chiggy Okonkwo, 3 for 60. Rushy Rice, 2 for 27 and a touchdown. Williams only had one catch for 28 yards. And Robbie Chosen had one catch for 9 yards. Defensively, Ashton Davis had the lone pick for us. Eric Stokes for him. Sack-wise, nobody had any sacks at all. Tackles, Dane Cruikshank, 10 tackles. Ashton Davis, 5 total tackles felt like way more. Um, yeah, really not a ton of defense. One pick on either side. We win the QB battle, and Justin Herbert probably played his best game of the year um, in a real game, and what a game. Absolutely game of the year, boys. For everyone who was here to watch it, good stuff, man. Let's go. Did get 11 coach points, and Jahan Dotson gets an upgrade, man, and he was great. He got open often. Open often, very often, and I think there's an argument to be made. He should get the four points um, for Offensive Player of the Week. One catch of traffic, plus one catching, plus one deep route, plus three release, plus one spin move. Absolutely game of the year, potentially, not only game of the week. But we needed that, man, and we're really starting to play better. And if we play like that, I honestly think we could beat anyone in this league, like genuinely, bro. Like... I think we could really make a deep run. That's going to be it, boys. Week 9, we win the game of the week, 27-24. Let me know who you guys think should get the plus 4 to 1 stat, who deserved it, and who earned us the win the most. Some I might be able to make the argument it was Justin Herbert. He's already so good at everything. I don't know that that makes the most sense. I'm thinking either Rondell Moore or maybe Evan Ingram. He scored twice. So you guys let me know in the comments. I will see you next week, week 10. We take on the Dallas Cowboys. Appreciate you stopping by as always. Peace.